Hi, I would like to show you how to get started locking JavaScript errors on your production site using Muscular. Once you've registered and verified your email and chosen your password, this is the first page you'll see. Here is uh, the logger script that you can insert on your page to start locking. But first let me show you the advanced options. In here you can specify whether or not you want to lock JavaScript errors as events in your Google Analytics account. It will automatically integrate if you have Google Analytics on the page. And you can choose whether or not to suppress JavaScript errors in the browser so they won't come in the user's log. Uh, if you don't know what these do, just leave them as they are. Then what you do is you take this script and then you copy it. Now you want to insert it in the HTML on your website. You go to uh, your website's HTML. If you have some kind of header that's inserted on every page, it's easier if you insert this script there. And just below the head tag, you insert it. Uh, then you save this and push it pr to production, and now you are already locking JavaScript errors. Once you will begin to lock JavaScript errors, you will s be able to open the dashboard uh, on Muscular, and here you can see the uh, JavaScript errors that have come in. Before I show you the details of JavaScript errors, let me just show you how to create uh, more logs. So you have a log for production, uh, one for staging, or perhaps one for different sites. What you do is uh, you can add a new log here, just give it a name. Uh, when you add a new log, it has its, its own logging script. So let me say production. <clears throat> and then you need to insert this script on your production site. <clears throat> you change between your different logs up here in the drop down. Uh, you can rename a log. You can clear a log, which clears all the errors in there. For example, every time you do a release, it's nice to have a clean log. Uh, that's possible by clicking clean log. You can entirely delete a log if you don't need it anymore. Uh, but once you've locked errors here under errors you will see the list of errors that you have locked uh, there are paging paging is here and you can search the errors for example if I want to search for errors on Chrome I just type Chrome and you'll see that I'm only shown errors that have occurred on Chrome if I only want Chrome on Windows I can just type Chrome space Windows and now it has searched only for errors that have occurred on Windows. You can also search the error messages. Uh, so there's easy search available here. Once you find an error that you want to know more about, you simply click it. And here you can see the trending of the individual error. You can see the JavaScript error that caused the JavaScript uh, source code line that caused the error. This is not on all errors. You can see the call stack. This is also not on all errors. And you can see the button that the user clicked on when the error occurred. We try to put as much information in here as possible, uh, but it's not possible to give this much information on all, on all errors. Uh, once you've found the error, you can fix it, and uh, hopefully it will disappear from the log. There's also the option of deleting an error. If you don't want it anymore. <clears throat> now let me show you how to add different users to your Muscular account. Here under your email, you simply click that and click the users. And here are all the users on my account. You can add new users, just enter their email, they will be sent an activation email that will let them choose their password and they are in, your, in the system and have access to all that you have access to. For each user, you can specify whether or not they should receive a daily digest of all the e, uh, JavaScript errors locked with Muscular. Uh, and that's it. I hope you'll enjoy locking JavaScript errors with Muscular, and you will have a lot of happy users with, that don't experience JavaScript bugs on your site. Thank you.